Welcome back. Our next guest has published over 30 books, been awarded an OBE and made a Dame, a Dame Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit for her services to literature. Please put your hands together for much celebrated New Zealand author Dame Fiona Kidman. Thanks for joining us and it's been a pleasure to have you in the studio. Congratulations on your new book which is out all day at the movies. Now the main character in this is Irene who is widowed during the war, has a young daughter and moves her life to Motueka. But things don't quite go as expected, do they? Not really, and the, the, it's a generational story. So Irene really sets things going for a whole family dynamic that's going to be followed over some 50 years in the novel. So it's an episodic novel, and it happens every 10 years or so that we find one of her children, because there are more children who come after the one that she takes to the Motueka tobacco field. Oh, OK, because I'm only in, I'm only up to child number one at the moment. Oh, no, there's some more to come, believe me. <laughs> Were the tobacco fields a real thing in Motueka? Oh, absolutely. I was at the Nelson Writers Festival a few years ago, and I was with Anne and Jeremy Salmon, who were... Um, looking around and we're all having chats and so forth and they'd been out looking at the tobacco fields where the tobacco fields were and Jeremy who's an architect came back and said oh look there's all these amazing kilns abandoned kilns if you look around the fields and so forth so that got me thinking because actually my father grew tobacco up north when we lived in Kerikeri long ago and that smell of Nipotiana is very powerful. We mightn't like tobacco now, but it's a kind of sultry plant and it evokes so many memories in me. And I thought, I think that's where my novel has to begin. Speaking of that, Dame Fiona, does your inspiration for your books come from those circumstances, from real life situations, or do they come from other situations? Oh, look, I've got a little notebook and I'm going around taking notes all the time. Nice. I'm the watcher. You, want, you need to watch me because I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know? How do you know, oh, I'm going to write this down because this could turn into a good book? You don't always know, but... but if you take a lot of notes, it's amazing how they kind of add up to some sort of observation of the world that you haven't really expected when you start reading all these kind of little notes because, you know, you can be sitting waiting for the lights to turn from red to green and you have this great idea. <laughs> so the next time you stop the car, you write down a few phrases that might make a lot of sense. But when you start looking at them, you think, yeah, there's something here. So you've got Brilliant. a notebook in your bag right now? Oh, yeah. Do you keep them all? Are they piled up in your library? Yes, I have. Yes. Well, no, no. I'm, I mean, I do declutter. Do we know. need to get Rachel around to see No, well, look, actually, the Turnbull Library come and take them away every few years. I bet, yes. <laughs> <laughs> File them for me. They'll be valuable to hang on to. OK, uh, let's talk about um, this book, because obviously, you know, all day at the movies is a New Zealand setting. Uh, how important is a New Zealand setting when it comes to your books in particular? Well, I'm a very New Zealand writer, I think, right. and I'm proud of it. Mm. I know that there's a, a great desire to be international and in fact in recent years some of my books have become international which is lovely I'm off to the Frankfurt Book Fair in a few weeks where one of my books is coming out wow. in Germany that'll be an experience yeah, it'll, yeah it should be great but I don't go looking for international settings I, ca I grew up in the country in New Zealand I live in Wellington now have done for many years and this is my home this is my people and this is where my family lives, and it's really important to write our stories. I think you're right. You've written so many different genres too, uh, fiction, non-fiction, poetry as well. Is that, is that normal for a writer to cover all of these different styles? Well, I read all of those, and so I, I read what interests me. I, I write what interests me, I suppose. Um, I've worked across several genres because as a working, when I was a, a, in the workforce, as a, I worked in television and radio and as a journalist, and all of those things meant that my writing was became quite fluid. So moving through genres doesn't is not a, an unusual thing to do. So what's next for you? Have you got something on the go already? I have got a novel on the go, yes, but I'm kind of putting it off a little bit because it's a big commitment sitting to, sitting down at the computer and thinking, I'm going to be here for about a year or so <laughs> yeah. just yeah. looking at this screen, writing this story, and can I get through it? Do you no. do it for a certain amount of time, like every day? Are you disciplined? I, I do. I usually try and get to my computer at about 9 o'clock in the morning 
and then I work through till about one, and I aim to write roughly a thousand words a day. Great discipline. Yeah, and speaking of that discipline, is it you know chapter by chapter, or do you just keep going till you think you've got a book and then you edit it down? How does that, how does that process work? Well, I try and make a structure beforehand. Right. Um, this is quite difficult with all day at the movies because it it goes on over such quite such a long period. But I try and get a rough structure. I, I think of a book, a, a novel, as being like a journey. You know where you're going to start from, and you know where you're aiming to go, but you don't know what's going to happen along the journey because, I mean, you might as well stay at home if you're mm. new at all. Well, and that makes it interesting for you as well, it, I would assume, yeah. It's been an absolute pleasure having Isn't you Isn't it? Nice. Today, having a chat. Uh, the Dame Fiona Kidman's brand new novel, All Day at the Movies, is available right now.